What the? How'd you get all the way over here, little bee, huh? Hello everybody, Rex Tempest, Time Traveler here, back again with another Tech Fortress video. And in today's video, I'm starting off here with my cats. Well, I mean, do I really need a reason to be here with my cats? But as you can hear, uh, people outside, my neighbors are being a bit loud. And sometimes when I come in here to my main room, they're especially loud over here. So. All right, so as you saw, probably from the title of the video, is that we're going to be making a restaurant. And this is a restaurant, if you've seen other videos on my channel, should be very familiar as it's a, kind of like a bit of a theme restaurant or chain restaurant. Something that actually, I mean, I just invented one time based on kind of a joke that uh, this cucumber I made. Uh, but we are going to be making the restaurant Piggins, and then we're going to be doing something a little bit different with this one that I've never done with any other version of Piggins. And speaking of versions of Piggins, um, over here, oh, come on, seriously? Just gotta be, ah. Uh, okay, try to come in here without my armor to show people, you know, what it's like, what my skin looks like. But, uh, oh wow, dolphins, seriously, get away from there. Yeah, uh, so anyway, over here, uh, Topster Dolphin actually had built a Piggins back before everything got destroyed. So, um, I have come in since then and put a claim on everything so that it, not more would be lost. But I figure since I'm going to be making a Piggins, I would take some of these pieces of original wool that he had and, oh, seriously, uh, I did not come well prepared for this part of my episode. I mean, I do have some, like, various goods and things like that that I can use for this, but, okay. We're just going to collect this. Basically, we're going to be turning this part of the wool. We're going to be basically recycling. So we're going to take it and make it part of our uh, banner for you know, our restaurant. And I personally think that Dovercroft will be okay with that idea. So um, just give me a moment as I do some parkour. Thankfully, I don't have to worry too much about parkour because I am like over the water so if I fall I'm not going to like drop to my death okay. it's just going to be like oh look at this I'm all wet now all right so let me continue to click oh man I gotta like take this down snag my way back up there and start this all over again tell you what let's just cut ahead until I'm done and I'm back over at my job so I've cabin sort of a thing and there's the big end symbol I'll just kind of briefly walk you through it so you can see the process of how I did it if you ever want to make something like this here I took some of the stone that had been used in the original and decided to make it into like a second big end symbol but this time inside the restaurant of course you have to have seats I didn't want the seats to obscure the mascot or the company logo and of course, I put uh, these seats back to back, just like you would find in most restaurants. I changed the color of these ones just to kind of help it stand out and break it up so it wasn't just all one color all the way along. Over here, you have your trash can. You just step on here and you can throw anything onto the cactus. It will destroy it because you, know, you always have to have trash. Employees only come back here. I will put some employees in here, but I also have a row of furnaces, of course, for cooking up the pork and hey, whatever else they decide to serve. And yeah, so now I gotta get started on the play place. So in order to do the play place, what I decided to do is I expanded out the area a little bit by creating some grass, or not creating grass, I did create grass. I just laid down some grass here to sort of give me some more space. Now I do have a few things that I'm going to be doing. Uh, this one's pretty simple, so I can put it together as you watch. Just grab some of these items. What we're going to do is just create a little bouncy worm. We're going to put in right, uh, right about here, if need be. And there we go. And then we'll just something for the kids to bounce on. Two, three. And then, of course, 
the head goes right here. Give it some legs because like we always need legs. Oh, don't worry about that. That's just one of those uh, tech fortress things. It's like, oh, somebody might destroy it, but I don't see that happening. All right, so we'll just put another leg here and cut the. I only have five switches. Did I lose the switch somewhere? Oh well. And we'll put some little buttons right here for eyes. Oh, really? All right, we'll just put this here. There you go. A little bit of a worm type thing. And look, you can bounce on it just like you should do with worms in real life. Where you guys hit him, bounce slightly higher. And now build some more stuff. And I'll just build some of these and kind of explain the process of what I did. All right, so I finally finished up my project. So let me kind of give you a little bit of a tour. Uh, so I made a jungle gym. Obviously, I used jungle wood. Uh, these scaffolding can make a good way to go up and down things. Just like you might see in any ordinary old play place. Minus a lot of handrails. But again, first of all, you're not going to fall that far. And second of all, it's more about giving people ideas. You know, maybe to inspire people to build something of their own. And of course, what play place or jungle gym would be complete without a water? Well, not a water slide, a slide, but you kind of have to have a water to do a slide in Minecraft anyway. And then over here, I have uh, this, you know, this is kind of those tubes that you may see in a lot of play places. And you just come over here and use this just a simple redstone and a trap door. Just press the button. Down you go. Now you can actually crawl around like you might if you were, say, in a play place tube. You know, you can just like, oh, look at me. Here I am with my head sticking through the glass and my legs sticking through the wood. Just like in any old ordinary play place. You can come over here. You can uh, have a darker part of a tube. You can uh, get a lot more elaborate than I did. I certainly had the resources. Just, yeah, I don't know. Just... Kind of ran out of energy to do it but yeah so like i said I mean, you have three little parts that you might find in an ordinary old play place at a restaurant and of course here is the restaurant itself so yeah this is my restaurant and play place uh, i hope you like it i hope you feel inspired to make something of your own similar to it and i will see you next time for more adventures minecraft or otherwise bye